Hi guys, Kings of ME here, back again. Today we're gonna do a review video. Um, one is just the regular downloaded Minecraft from uh, Minecraft.net versus uh, Minecraft SP, uh, which you download from like YouTube or there's quite a few different places you can download it from. And we're just gonna go over, uh, you know, which one's better in terms of, uh, well, just generally, which one's better. All right. So let's just give some st uh, statistics real quick about Minecraft, uh, both of these. Alright, so this is the regular Minecraft, as you can see. Um, this one requires a password and a paid account um, to play. So for this one, um, uh, this one you have to pay for it. I think it's something like 25 something like that, about $25 for an account. Um, this one also, it automatically updates when um, an update comes out. For some of you, most of you, that's good. For the very small percentage of you, that's bad because you play it still maybe play on HMOD servers or something like that, and you don't want it to update when the updates come out. Um, besides that, see, you need an account. Um, Minecraft SP, uh, for this, you don't need to buy an account, um, and you, uh, you can pick whatever username you want, uh, but you also, if an update come, does come out, you need to click Force Update and then enter game, and it will update it for you. Alright, um, let's go over some pros and cons. Alright, so pros of Minecraft, just the regular one, are, um, first off, um, it automatically updates for you, and, uh, it's like, it's a legal version of Minecraft. It's not, um, it's not Ill illegal to have. I'm not 100% sure if this is illegal, technically. It might just be frowned upon, you know, um, but this is actually the actual version from Minecraft, so if they make any big changes that this, uh, can't um, update to you'll be able to it'll, this one will update to it um, this one a big one for a lot of people is skins uh, if you have a paid account for Minecraft you can uh, change your skin and you can uh, you can change your skin and uh, pretty much that's pretty much the pros uh, the cons are you have to pay for the account and um, I mean pretty much that's all the cons you do have to type in a password every time that's kind of a con for some people especially if there's passwords long. Um, well, there is one more pro about Minecraft, uh, this regular Minecraft, and that is um, some people actually on their servers disallow Minecraft SP. So for this one, you're always going to be allowed into a server no matter what, um, well, as long as you have the right connection and IP address and all that, of course. Uh, you're always going to be let into a server if you have a regular paid account. All right, so let's go over some pros of Minecraft SP. Well, probably the, the number one for everybody is, of course, you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to buy an account. Uh, you just download it and make up a username, and, um, of course, you'll get right into the game. All right, so um, other uh, pros is you don't have to type in a password, you know, so, uh, you know, there's not that uh, extra wait, you know, time to type in a password and everything like that. Um, another pro, you can change your username to whatever you want. That's a nice feature. Uh, you can't update it. That's I guess that's a pro. I mean, some of these things you can't even update. So this Minecraft SP, you can update. And that's nice. Um, some cons are uh, that uh, you can't um, change your skin with, a, with this account unless you happen to know the password of this account. So um, you, you, that's, uh, that's some cons. Um, Let's check out the activity monitor to see which one of these, uh, how different these are. So, as you can see, both of these are in the same stage right now. They're just at the beginning screen. And if you see here, there's Minecraft and there's Minecraft SP. And as you can see, they're very close. I mean, there's barely any change in them at all. Uh, you know, sometimes Minecraft SP is better, sometimes Minecraft's better, as you can see. So let's check out the threads. Um... Exactly the same, both 19. Uh, real memory, 42.9 versus 42.3. So that's 0.6 megabytes, which is barely anything. I mean, unless your computer has literally almost no memory left, uh, which it probably nothing would uh, work anyways. So basically there, um, I mean, really no changes at all. So let's try logging in with these and see, uh, seeing if there's any difference, which this is actually a Minecraft SP account. Alright, so, log in with this one, and I'll just log in with Snipe and Kills just to show you guys that get these exactly almost the same. Oh, and I clicked Force Update. You don't need to do that every time, but it I did it this time. Alright, so now we're at the same sit, uh, stage here again. 
Um, again, CPU 15, 16, uh, Minecraft SP and Minecraft both switching places there, so very, very close between the two. Um, looks like Minecraft SP might be have a little bit of an edge on Minecraft, as you can see. So maybe Minecraft SP does take up a little bit less CPU room, which uh, is good. Let's check out the our, our real memory anyways. Let's check out CPU. Yep, still, Minecraft SP with a little bit of an edge. Not much, but a little bit. Alright, so, well, see, there you go. They just switched. So, really, I mean, very close. Alright, let's check out the threads. Again, both 24. That should be the same. Alright. Now, um, here, Minecraft SP seems to be taking up a little bit more memory. Uh, 0.1 megabyte. That's that's almost nothing. So, um, I'm going to keep switching, but it's not much. And that 0.1 megabyte could just be between the different little uh, logos, I guess you could call them there. So that's, again, very close. So let's try logging into my server that I have running right now. And uh, let's just see what it says. This one I'm going to have to actually log out of because can't log in with the same uh, name, can you? So, let's just log in with... Alright, so now... I mean, that's a very slight change, so it shouldn't make much of a difference. So let's both connect with both of these. Alright, so let's check out actually how much RAM is being used up by each one now. So CPU-wise, again, very close. I mean, 38.330, you know, I mean, the discrepancies there is very, very limited. And they keep switching, which means they keep changing places. Alright, I'm running out of CPU, as you can see here. <laughs> All right, let's check out the threads. Uh, both exactly the same. Good. Uh, real memory. Uh, looks like Minecraft SP taking up a little bit more memory than mine regular Minecraft. So I mean, that's pretty much uh, all you guys really need to see. I mean, they're very close. I mean, if, there's really not technically uh, technically one that's better than another in terms of um, you know CPU usage and um, you know, system memory, there's barely any difference between the two, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, a big uh, thing for most people, and probably the biggest one, is the reason they get Minecraft SP, so you don't have to pay for one. But then, also, you can't uh, add skins if you have Minecraft SP, and uh, you can't join servers that uh, disallow Minecraft SP, which is too bad. Um, but the bad things about uh, my regular Minecraft is that um, you do have to pay for an account, and you have to type in your password each time. I guess that could be a con. Um, and you can't change your username whenever you want. So, um, I mean, that was just a quick video on, uh, you know, Minecraft SP versus regular Minecraft. I hope this helps some of you guys, um, you know, make a decision. So, uh, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'm just